Have you found way. yourself on a set with someone whose impression you do? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and it's it's not always a good idea to share. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give an example? I mean, the time it worked out well um, was Alan Arkin. Ooh. He he and Peter Falk uh, were in my favorite comedy film, The In Laws. Mm -hmm. Oh man, and um. I had done the Tonight Show, um, and I knew Johnny loved Peter Falk and had him on all the time. So when I was first asked by the gatekeeper Jim McCauley to to do stand up on the show, I just had this instinct that I would do better from the couch doing my impressions. And I knew the protocol; he couldn't bring me to the couch. So I asked if we wait till. I had a movie or a TV show that were where he could justify bringing me to the couch. And then I would do my impressions and things from the couch, specifically Peter Falk. Um, Cause again, I knew Johnny loved him and had mm -hmm. Peter on during the Columbo run several times a year. Yeah. Sure enough. I, you know, there's, there I am behind that famous curtain and I hear Johnny say, now folks, my next guest is a, a, <laughs> an actor. An actor and a young comedian named Kevin Pollack. He's got a new movie out directed by Ron Howard called Willow. Uh, please welcome Kevin Pollack. I came out and I sat next to the king. And, you know, there's a pre-interview to those shows, spoiler alert. Yeah. And in the pre-interview, Jim McCauley, the gatekeeper, uh, producer of the segments for the comedian, said, what do you want Johnny to ask you to uh, thereby, thereby help set up your stories? And I well, just have him ask me if I do impersonations and I'll be top loaded for what comes next. And sure, so Johnny said, now we'll talk about Willow Kevin in just a moment. Somebody told me backstage <laughs> ah, that you do impersonations. Nice? <laughs> and without missing a beat, I crossed one eye as I had taught myself to do because Peter Falk famously uh, had one glass eye. Mm -hmm. And um, I just went right into it. Johnny, that's a bold face line. <laughs> I don't know who told you that, and I wish they had, quite frankly. <laughs> and he, as I had predicted, uh, was howling, laughing so hard and invited me back to be a guest on the show two, three times a year until he retired. Oh. And, and, and I'm convinced. It's That's kind of I a knew. heroin you can't explain to other people when the boss goes nuts over your set. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, but then running into Peter Falk at the produce section at Ralph's <laughs> a week later, uh, and he accosted me oh. by the carrots <laughs> saying, how do you do that with your life? <laughs> Me, I understand. But how do you do that? Really? Oh, yes. So I took that impression to the set of a movie I did called Indian Summer. So when I met Alan Arkin, mm -hmm. who's in the film as well, I went up to him doing Peter Falk to try to win his favor. And he said, oh, my God, that's unbelievable. <laughs> you know, Peter, that's crazy. That's not Peter in movies or television. That's him in the kitchen. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, so then I eventually learned how to do Alan. And he, I remember he said, somebody told me you do me. Is that right? And I said, I can't do you. <laughs> And he said, wait a second, is that me? That's not funny. <laughs> but he came, he went on to love it. Um, and we had such such a great friendship over the years.